question 11 says calculate 17 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 so we're trying to multiply three numbers together now when you multiply three numbers together it doesn't actually matter which order you do them in so you could do 17 times 5 times 4 or you could do 5 times 4 then times it by 17 you can even do it backwards you can do 4 times 5 times 17 or you could start in the middle and do 5 times 17 times 4. It really doesn't matter. You'll get it the same answer whichever way you do it. So, what does matter is that we are careful in our calculations. So, let's. what we're going to do first is we're going to try 17 times 5. So, 17 times 5, column method. Plenty of space to work out here. 5 times 7 is 35. Put your 5 in, carry your 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus that 3 is 8. So 17 times 5 is 85. But now we need to times that by 4. So 85 times by 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Put 0 and carry 2. 4 times 8 is 32, plus that 2 is 34. So it looks like the answer is 340. So that's what I'm going to write in this answer box here. However, it would be a shame to leave it there. We have actually answered the question now, but we're just going to prove that it doesn't matter which way round you do it. So, we could have done 5 times 4 first. So, 5 times 4 is 20. So if you've done those two first, you would have got 20. And now times 20 by 17. Well, 20 times 17 sounds difficult, but it's really easy. If you cover up the zero and do 2 times 17, 2 times 17 is 34, and then just put that zero back on, you would end up with 340, which is exactly what we've got here. One final way to prove again that we would get 340 if we did 17 times 4, which we haven't done yet, so 17 times 4, 4 7s are 28, 4 1s are 4, plus that 2 is 6, so that's 68, and then we'd have to times 68 by 5, because that's the only one we haven't used yet, so 68 times 5, 5 eighths of 40, put your 0 and carry your 4. 5 sixes of 30, plus the 4 is 34. So yet again, we've got 340. Whichever way you do it, you'll always end up with 340.